Hello, everybody. Happy July. Welcome Hi. back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I'm joined here with my Canadian sister, Sarah. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Well, it's July 1. We're airing this on July 1. So this is Canada Day, isn't it? It is. Oh, I didn't wear red. Oh, wow. That's okay. I'm that's okay. Purple. That's okay. That's okay. You can forgive it's still, you, you yeah. can carry it in your heart. Yeah. So happy Canada Day to all of our Canadian patriots who are watching right now. I know we've got quite a few. And of course, for the Americans coming up, we have the 4th of July, which if you missed our last episode, we did speak about the astrology around July right. 1st and the 4th and why we have particular holidays allegedly on this time. So I will put that down in the description box. We won't we won't beat a dead horse and rehash it again. But if you go back and watch that episode, we actually did do talk about that. So that today, was interesting. I haven't heard that one before. Isn't that is so I it, these random tidbits of trivia you learn along oh. the way, like I'm going to store that in my brain because I think that's going to be that's going to be <laughs> so we're going to need that. But later that's on the way it is. That, that's that's how that's exactly what's happening though. We are learning new things and we're questioning things and we're actually like taking a really like deep dive and second let's look at everything that we've been taught. Yep. We have to at, at this point with open minds, of course, and when grounded and, you know, being grounded, but we need to question things and open minds. That's the only way that we can really move forward. I think and that's my own opinion. Absolutely. I, I totally, uh, it, and if you get, you know, for me, when you get too caught up into it, sometimes it can make you go a little bit woo woo, a little crazy, mm -hmm. um, a little wackadoo. So if you, if you're ever feeling that way, guys, just take some time out and just go take a walk. You know, go go play with your dog or your kids and yeah. just um, remember us as Alan Watts said when somebody asked him what's the point of life, he said the point of life was to be alive. Yeah. And so I know a lot of people, be because of the revelations about July 1 through July 4th, a lot of people are going to reject celebrating. But I say go ahead and celebrate because it's about your intention. Absolutely. Don't let don't let these Absolutely. these people, as, as um, somebody told my mom, my mom was getting a divorce from my dad. Somebody told my mom, do not let Lee Watson steal your joy. And I'm going to say that to all of our viewers. Do not let this group of, of dumb app, dumbass psychopaths. Well, they're not dumb. Well, these psychopaths. Don't let oh. these psychopaths steal your joy. Right? Exactly. The darkness can't Go create on. anything. They just steal and invert. So take it back. Claim it back. Claim July 1. Claim July 4th back as ours. Absolutely. It, we don't need to look into the... And especially for Canada, we've talked about that before about what really went on. And I won't even say any words, but many years ago, and you know, we don't need to look in the politics of what had happened, but in the legality of this country being a country, <laughs> but just celebrate July, celebrate July first and July fourth. And I know I certainly will. Yeah, I'm not going to not enjoy fireworks. I'm not going to not enjoy the flag waving and the smiles and the fun and the events happening because that's. As you just said, that's the joy of being alive. You have to yeah. celebrate. And you should be proud of your country, regardless of whether we're not quite sure about the history, regardless of whether <laughs> we're actually Tartarians or American. Exactly. You be proud of your country, you know, and be proud of your fellow mm -hmm. countrymen, you know. And so absolutely, go, go have your cookouts and go laugh and drink your beers and watch your fireworks and just... Because to love another person is to see the face of God. So wherever there's love and laughter, God is present. You know, don't don't make your life. That's why I always say when people like won't celebrate Christmas now or won't. I'm like, no, go take this back. Take that joy back. Don't let them steal your joy. Don't let them steal the life out of your life. Because you only have, you know, as far as in this carnation, you only have this life. Next carnation, new 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 body, new problems. But this is <laughs> this is the time to celebrate this incarnation. And so go do that. Be with your friends and family. And I, I really hope that everybody watching is just has a, a just super wonderful yes. Canada Day and super wonderful Independence Day. And just really enjoy, enjoy the beautiful fireworks. Enjoy it. Okay. Like, make memories. Exactly. Have fun. And for Christmas, it doesn't negate, like, all of, all of our July 1st, all of our July 4th, all of, our, all of the holidays. It doesn't negate, like, all of your beautiful memories that we have had over the years. It doesn't be, they should never be negated just because we learn truth or nefarious stuff. Just still enjoy. Yeah. To memory. Right. Don't let them tarnish that. 
And I've said this because, you know, when we first start waking up, we oh, learn about all these. Um, yeah, she's going to go ahead and boil the water, guys, because this is going to be a July reading, uh, tea leaf reading. But I will give, give this an example while she's setting up over there, you guys. Um, you know, when you first start learning all these inconvenient truths and you learn about a lot of the musicians, for example, you know, there was a period of time when I first started waking up where I wouldn't listen to certain bands. And then I, I kind of rewired my thought process because I have a lot of good memories, of of certain my music was big in my house growing up my parents are products of the 70s so we listened to the rolling stones all the time we listened to led zeppelin all the time and regardless of whether these musicians are or aren't good or bad really is irrelevant because my memories i can't take away those mm -hmm. memories that i had as a child singing and dancing in in our living room with my parents you know i laugh and say i used to think that hotel california i used to think my dad wrote that song because he had played on the guitar all the time and it wasn't until i was like in middle school that i realized that what my that that was the eagles <laughs> So, you know, and I've, I've, I've seen the Rolling Stones in concert. I've seen all these these um, big shows in concert and I've had so much fun. And that's my experience. It doesn't negate if they're good or bad. But that is my life and my experience. And there was joy and love and laughter in those experiences. And so do not let other people take your joy. Don't do that. Live your life. If you're a good person. You're doing good things. No amount of hocus pocus or whatever is gonna is gonna derail you from that. So, no, and of course, no. you guys, as Sarah is setting up too for our July tea leaf reading, um, we do have two winners of our giveaway that are going to be announced at the end of this episode. So I'm so excited um, to announce our winner. So you might you got us you got us hang tight, guys. You will you wait till the end. Wait till the end. <laughs> yeah, watch till the end. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. Just checking here. Okay. That's good. Okay. Almost ready here. I'm flip it over. And let's see what's in store for the month of July. For entertainment, for entertainment purposes only, of course. Take what you will, leave what you don't. This is a general reading. Not everything will apply to everyone, and that's not the intention. It's just to see whatever the universe would like us to know for the month of July. And I forgot to ask you, Sarah, are we doing 30 minutes? Whatever you like to do. Let's do 30 minutes. I'll tell you in the 15-minute mark. Sounds good to me. All right, perfect. Okay, I am just letting it drip dry just for a few seconds. Try to do that over the plate. Okay. Oh, another busy month. <laughs> I always like to try and like give myself a quick sneak peek at the leaves right before I start reading them. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's busy. <laughs> okay. Sorry, there's a, quite a bit of liquid still coming out. I'll take another minute. We like busy. Busy is good. Busy. That's what I always say. I always like to ask like cashiers wherever I go, like, oh, how's today? Oh, it's busy. I'm like, well, that's okay. Busy. That's good. Busy is good. Good. The thing is going well. There's energy moving. Okay. <sighs> Ready? Those are the leaves for July. Again, pretty busy. I haven't looked in too much detail. And I can't even see what I really what, what's on the screen because I'm very short sighted and everything's blurry past like here. So I can't even really see any details. But that those are the leaves. It's perfect. Okay. All right. I'm gonna turn my ring light up a little bit. Um, if it flickers, it's just simply because the ring light's been flickering lately. So apologies if it does flicker away in the background. Okay, actually, ready? That reminds me before you guys get started, if you guys hear banging, actually, I'm going to mute myself because if you guys hear banging in the background, that's the construction, but I'm just going to go ahead and mute myself while you're doing this. I think I'm going to turn the ring light down just by one because it's flickering just a little bit. So hopefully that won't be too distracting for anyone watching. Okay. Just trying to get there. Ready? Okay, let's go. All right, 
So if anyone, anyone watching probably seen this before, I read chronologically, everyone is different. The way that I myself read tea leaves is chronological. So the rim is, in this case, the beginning of July. The sides are as the month progresses. The base is more of the distant future. So it's now on the way in later, beginning of the month, as the month progresses, end of the month, heading into August. Oh, that's crazy to say. How fast? This year is going by so fast. Insane. Okay. Let's look at the beginning. Let's look begin at the beginning. Look at the rim. Okay. Looks like the month begins with one main event or situation where things are calm and clear and quiet. And we're happy with that and or we want things to get moving. Now that's in one scenario. However, aside from that, that's actually in for two scenarios that are of a fair amount of significance. And aside from that, there's just general busyness everywhere. General busyness. So in other words, a lot of, a lot of smaller happens, things happening and, and taking place. Now, one of the smaller events, or, sorry, one of the events or situations that sort of mm, fairly significant that precedes, leads to, however you want to describe it, the main event or situation. Now, whenever I do TV reading, often there is a main event or situation. That's why I just call it. That's in this case, that's the section here. So it precedes that, leads to that. Okay. So whatever this event or scenario is, it looks like it begins again as a result of like what's happening pretty much right now. However, there's a bit of lag time. This may take place like a day or two into the month, approximately. So there's a bit of time before everything takes place. That said, there's one section of this whole event that does begin sooner than all of that. So say the whole situation roughly begins on, say, the, for example, the third. We begin to see things on the second, something to that effect. That smaller part, um, that involves a small conclusion, nothing too significant. I'm just make, make, mentioning that in case it makes sense to anyone watching. Um, it involves some kind of conclusion, nothing huge. But there is a conclusion, likely involves a helpful individual. Let's bring that up a bit more. Now, that may actually involve, it may involve, because Tilly Freeding is an and or. So I just say everything as, as much as I can see, say every, as much as I can see, um, in case it, something makes sense to more people. Um, okay, so it looks like it may involve some kind of receiving, receiving something positive. Someone may even, even maybe receiving something that is related to a conclusion of some kind. It's another way that you could say that. This may sound kind of odd, but unconventional in intellect, using your intellect, maybe even to think a different way, some some significance around that. Um, also, there's unconventional stability. This is all related rather to some kind of unconventional stability. But again, we are receiving very, like, very good things. Specifically, that is also related to some kind of reassurance. Things are going well, not to worry things along those lines. So there's reassurance regarding the situation. There's also a small, you know, there's some kind of forward movement that's being indicated. Now, someone may actually have a significance regarding trains. I'm saying that in case it makes sense to someone, there's a little choo-choo train. <laughs> Don't usually see trains, but there's a little train here. But there is positive movement forward. This is related to everything that I've just said. Um, again, this may have something to do with the house, center home, home and or family, something along those lines, and as well as some kind of creative project, new creative venture of some kind, new creative pursuit that may involve a person, place, or thing, the letter C that's involved. But there are definitely helpful people, from what I'm seeing, entertainment purposes only, but there are helpful people present. One of them is a man. The other one may be a lady. Can't swear to that, but that's what it looks like to me. 
There is happiness around this. There's some a small amount of thinking and talking, a conversation specifically, potentially even that's being had that involves a couple different people. Really, is a matter of perception, perspective, glass half full versus glass half empty. But it is positive, and there is a smiley face there. It's good. Okay. Then we're into the bulk of the situation. Overall. And so if you hear any like background like wheezing, it's because of asthma and I'm wheezing a little bit. So if you hear any wheezing, that's me. <laughs> Nothing major, I'm fine. Um, okay, so most of this, of this whole event or situation is more or less divided into two parts. Half of it is a lot more thinking and talking, things up in the air, conversations and discussions, things like that. The other half is more, we know where we stand, but we don't know where we stand because there's a lot, there's a lot of surprises, a lot of Things happening, but we don't know all the details. So I get excited when I see surprises. That to me, it, that's all we show. And is uh, leaves very tightly grouped, as you can see there. You can sort of see. Oops, half of it's more uh, sparsed out. The other half is tighter, more tightly grouped. That's what I'm referring to. Okay. Okay. So everything that, that everything that I just mentioned is part of the more conversational side or part of this main event or situation. And that does go into the end of the month. Now, what's interesting is that the whole conversation part of this whole adventure situation fairly ends, fairly much, you know, fairly well ends at the end of the month. The surprises part, knowing where we stand, but we don't, actually leads into the end of the month and heading into August, which is interesting. Okay. Okay, back up to the top and watch, working down again. Definitely happy faces. So, the situation does begin well. Again, small conclusions, nothing major, but there's just small conclusions. There's a small conclusion that does involve abundance and prosperity, as well as unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment. And stability, too. Stability. A real sense of something beginning, and there's a flower. So there's something that's just starting at the beginning of this event or scenario, and it's good. It's beginning getting to unfold. You maybe start to see something that's just beginning to start to bud. Just about to start to happen. That doesn't involve a small, like a very, very, very minorly perspective, glass half full versus glass half empty sort of thinking. But I say that because there's a bit of a frowny face, but then right beside that, right after that rather, like immediately after is a happy face. So it's be saying perception perspective. Again, creative ventures, new creative projects. Likely not related to the homelander family in this from from what I'm seeing. Person place your thing involved with that with the number three. There may be a UK connection involved in some way, shape, or form. Looking here, um, there's the letters M and J, M and J. Receiving very good things regarding that. Generally speaking, not to sound like a broken record, I keep seeing small happy faces throughout this entire first part of this whole scenario. So actually going down further, yeah. Generally speaking, there's a lot of happy faces throughout this month. So it looks like the situations continue where happy, 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 happy. Happiness throughout especially in regards to this um, conversational side. Again, there's reassurance and, and new creative projects, doing, starting new things, creative ventures, creative projects, creating new things. That repeats. I keep seeing that. So that would continue throughout the month, I would say. There's also a, a letter S and or five that's involved. That also involves a small conclusion of some kind. Again, all the conclusions that I keep seeing, um, they're not huge. They're very, very tiny. So an example of that could just be like, you finish reading a book. Uh, you, 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 you go on Halloween holiday and you come back. Like There's some minor conclusion, but I keep seeing that. So throughout the month, we may see a small conclusion. Okay, I finished that, finished that, finished that, finished that. Regards to this letter, 
S and number five. It's a conclusion, but there's also a new thought, something that's being contemplated. So it's like thinking of something, something that's ready to be, something's being thought about, something's almost ready to conclude. It's that kind of situation. I'm not a numerologist. I'm not an, I'm not an astrologer. Five for me means change, but that's just my own association with five. Someone else watching this may have another association with the, with the number five. It's interesting to see five because five in numerology, a lot of people fear that number, but I actually I see it almost like the tower card in uh, tarot where it's actually going to bring change. And that yeah. is, that can be really good. And so what you said before that, it kind of seemed that's, that's interesting. So anyway, mm -hmm. sorry, go ahead, girl. Sorry. No, no, it's, no it's okay. No, it's okay. Thank you. That's also re related in some way to a partnership. Some kind of small partnership that's beginning to form at this point in time, at that point in time. And this is all preceded, too, by a lot of loving, unconditional love, support, loyalty, and commitment. There's a little dog having a little stretch, like a down, literally downward dog stretch. So there's some kind of un un unconditional love and joy and commitment and love that's present. A very good harmonious situation at the beginning of this whole event. And um, I get it. Yeah, there's, there's definitely abundance at the beginning of the month. There's a new idea that's being contemplated. You may feel a little bit like, hmm, this is not interesting, kind of haughty, cheeky emotion at the beginning of the month. And that's related to a, a new idea that's being thought about. But that also, again, has a very, very small conclusion. But there's a lot of reassurance, protection, commitment, love, and just reassurance and protection around that whole scenario. So it looks like it's very positive. I'm trying to determine if I'm looking at something extremely excreted or if I'm just looking at something that's not. So give me one second. I, I'm hoping for the X-rated. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> well, I mean, depending on what, you, depending on how you want to look at this, I mean, this could be something that's X-rated. So I will leave it there. Listen, some viewer right Eat now, lucky this month. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. One of y'all, maybe an ace of, maybe an ace of small dating ace of app is working. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> there may be a small ace of cups moment at the beginning of the month. <laughs> Letter W is involved. Um, also, it could very well also be an angel just saying that, yes, there's angels around you, protecting you, overlooking a scenario. So take that for what you will. Could go either way. All right. Um, but yes, there's definitely a sense of like being happy and almost like taking a leap of faith and being excited and proud and some kind of new partnership that's beginning to form. There's just so many things happening in this month that I would just say that it's the reminder here to just pace ourselves and just keep ourselves grounded because from what I'm seeing, I'm like, wow, there's just a lot. We could easily spend a good hour on this alone. So I would just say, again, just a reminder here to pace ourselves. We're going to be having a lot of uh, free time interspersed with all of this busyness in this, in this one event. In addition to that, we are we do have a lot of free time aside from that, though, for the rest of the month. In addition to like, additionally to this main event that we're not going to be pulled into any different direction. And I'll so again, you're, you're at the 15 minute mark, but I'm also going to remind the audience right now with you saying that if this is resonating with you, if you're like, holy shit, she's reading my story um, down in the description box below is going to be a link to all of Sarah's contacts. So you can book a private reading with her if you feel like there's something that you want to look deeper into. So anyway, go ahead, girl. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm diverting quickly because, again, everything is happening everywhere, but some people watching may have planned a trip this month, and if so, it would likely be happening at the latter half of the month. It likely has, it's likely one trip. It may have, it may have three parts to it, but there is one trip. That I'm seeing. Okay, I'll rephrase. There's likely one trip. It either has three parts to it or there's three individual trips, but they're all related in some way, shape, or form. It's more accurate. Okay, yeah. Back to this main event. Okay, going down. I'm going to look over here on the left side, which is the side that is more 
condensed, things are more up in the um, things happening, but we don't really know what's happening. <laughs> Surprises. Yeah. Again, there's a lot of protection reassurance that's being shown at the start of this month in relation to the things I just talked about with the um, idea and X-rated contents, but it's also protection and reassurance regarding that whole scenario. That it's a very good scenario. Certainly working with a lot of people, multiple people. Abundance and prosperity is certainly being shown from what I'm seeing. New ideas, new concepts, new, new ideas being contemplated. That was specifically in relation to the partnership that I mentioned just a minute ago. I keep seeing, okay, I keep, there's reminders here for reassurance, reminding that we're protected, remind reminding that things like all will be well. Yes, there's like a phoenix rising there. Yes, like there could be very well someone with a Scorpio connection or someone who is Scorpio or the qualities and inner characteristics of that sign. Someone with a letter, um, sorry, uh, I get freeze and ease confused. I see them so often. Um, number three is well involved in some way, shape or form. But there's this, this sense of like, yes, like everything is okay. Everything is good. You're protected. Be divinely protected. There's reassurance regarding that. Keep seeing it. Taking some time out for your own self-care as well. And that's a very good scenario. We're happy with that. That precedes and or is related to, in some way, shape, or form, a, a scenario of abundance and prosperity. as well as a small new beginning. And again, there's this new sense of creating something new, working on something new, making something new. Creativity, making new things in some way, shape, or form. But certainly this, this is all has to do, this whole scenario involves working with many people repeatedly throughout the month. As again, again, for new creative projects, working with new things, creativity. But this is whether these are like new children being born or whether this is creative projects, you're making something new. Creativity and reassurance seem to be two themes that I keep seeing. Letter W. There's a letter A, person, place, or thing. Like if you have a person actually with a letter A in their name, that involves close communication between the two of them. And there may be some form of an Aries or a Taurus connection with that individual. But there's also a very wise individual associated with that whole situation too um, that is involved with abundance in some way, shape, or form. down a bit further here yeah just like unconventional abundance essentially keep seeing un un like unconventional things are different but it's good and towards the latter part of the month in that whole in that specific scenario um there's this, there's a heart that's forming so it's a loving scenario which is like right now make working itself out but it's loving scenario things are moving quickly possible sagittarius connection but life vitality going for whatever it is that you want to have Life force, excitement, living life, energy and, and momentum. That leads to a new beginning that's being shown. New, uh, new beginning that involves using your intellect, but also um, stability and material wealth and gain. And like you're doing, you're doing well. There's a diamond, so you're like you're doing well financially. It's materially, it's good. It's happy. Okay, going down a bit further. At this point in time, at the end of this scenario. It's the, the leaves are extraordinarily packed very tightly. So whatever this is, it's actually popping off the side of the cup too. So whatever the situation is, um, it involves a significant surprise. And this is at the end of the month. If I had to sort of guess timing, I would say maybe like the last week or so of July or about. And then that is what leads into the end of the month heading into August. Okay. So just big surprises. In other words, we're not supposed to know what that is right now. But it, from what I see, there, it definitely involves working with multiple people. And, like, repeatedly. There's, like, a lot of people involved in this whole scenario. The end of the month heading into August looks like the base. Essentially, it looks very busy as well. 
Um, there's a helpful woman present. And we're going to be able to focus on what we need to focus on, but we're going to be, again, a reminder I would say for to pace ourselves, there's just a lot of things taking place. There is a partnership that's being shown. We have the letter R and M in the name, R, M, and maybe even the letter C. But it's very positive. We're very happy with it. It's just going to be crazy busy from what I'm seeing. So just pace yourselves. Uh, reassurance. Going for whatever it is that you want to have. Life force, vitality, action, speed, movement, momentum. Unconditional love and support and loyalty and commitment. Working with many people. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's what I keep seeing. Creativity. Working with new creative, pro new creative projects. There's definitely, from what I'm seeing too, helpful people around. There's theme this month and heading into next month. There may be an abundant, um, a situation that involves abundance and prosperity specifically in the base that involves a partnership that is right now forming. It's not clear, but I, I do see it. I'm going to quickly look at this trip very quickly. It's being shown on the sides. What is involved? There's a small that there's like three trips, but there's also a fourth smaller event or scenario that likely is like a new beginning, something that's being contemplated, a new a new start, a new opportunity. Um, one of the other trips, one of the other parts has some kind of material wealth gain, things are going well. Writing documents involved, which makes sense if you're going on a trip, but that's what I'm seeing here. Letter V, person, place, or thing, reassurance regarding that. And again, momentum, forward movement, open communication between, from, 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 sorry, from what I'm seeing, between two people. Number four, take that for what you will. Taking some time out for your own self care. It looks like it's it looks looks like it's a good relaxing trip. It's just that one of the one of the trips, one of the parts is quite busy. But it's good. It's good. There's happiness around that, which is good. Again, okay, open communication. Writing. Writing of some kind. I could give more details regarding that, but writing, there may be two, two different things that are being signed, two different documents, something to that effect, but there's two pens, there's two forms of writing. Again, the number five, and this other part of the trip, um, number three is involved in some way, shape, or form. Letter G, open, open, again, open communication. There's someone who is Aries or Taurus, and that involves, uh, looks to be a woman, creating something new, making something new, and forward movement with that. It's forward movement. Nothing holding you back. Things are going well. Things are going forward. Nothing is really stagnation. It's no stagnation. Things are going forward very easily. And to end this very quickly, at the beginning of the month, aside from all of this, there is a notable scenario. Not huge, but notable. Very short term, I would say. It doesn't last for maybe more than a week or two at most. Um, but there's a letter J involved, person, place, or thing, abundance and prosperity, receiving good things, something to do with the house and or home, abundance and prosperity, glass half full, glass half full versus glass half empty. But it's abundant, it's good, receiving good things with this, using your intellect, stability, small con two small conclusions. And a partnership that's being formed. Documents, some kind of paperwork of some kind. Now, whether that's school, school or 
whatever the situation is, but some, there's paperwork. There may be a Scorpio connection potentially involved. And it looks good. It's positive. But there's definitely a stability from what I'm seeing. Stability. Yeah. And it's a new idea. Something new is being contemplated. And it's positive. But again, it doesn't last for too long. But it is significant in and of itself. And that's the TV reading for July. It looks to be insane. <laughs> Common themes yeah. throughout. <laughs> that was wild. I actually t took notes because I don't know if you saw me like taking notes. <laughs> oh, no, I was like, but, <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's wild. And guys, I'm going to reiterate before I forget, cause I, was, I meant to do this at the beginning of the episode. So once again, you guys, this is Sarah's channel. Um, oh. With all of her videos and all of her website, which I'll put this all in the description box to you guys. But, um, but yeah, if you, if seriously, like if you, if there was something in there where you're like, oh shit, she's reading my story, reach out to her. Um, because you do like 30 minute readings, hour readings. You're also a psychic medium. So sometimes people's deceased loved ones will pop in. Yes. But with that being said, last time we filmed Sarah, we had two people that we, we, we offered I offered from yes. on Esoteric Atlanta for two of our awesome subscribers to get a 30 minute yes. reading on us with Sarah. Mm -hmm. And I pulled two names. And so you oh, got, God. you've got to reach out to Sarah to book your appointment. Once you reach out to Sarah, she will reach out to me and we will get you all squared away. So the two people that have won a 30 minute reading with Sarah are Kim Cronin 8340 so that's k-i-m-c-r-o-n-i-n 8340 so kim cronin you have to reach out to sarah Yay. dragonfly i was 1977 and i was saying dragonfly has been on this channel for a long time she's <laughs> such a cool supporter so dragonfly oh amazing you gotta reach out now sarah what's your email address is it on your website or how do people get in touch with you easiest ways to email me and that's Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at Sarah, with an H, dash, Adamson, A-D-A-M-S-O-N, dot com. It forwards to my hotmail, but that's the easiest way to say it. So Sarah at Sarah Adams, Sarah dash, Adamson, dot com. And that's the email address that I have for you, right? Correct? So yeah. I can just put yeah. that in the description box, too. So for the winners, please reach out to Sarah to schedule, and then we'll take care of everything for you. And, um, and yeah. So, Sarah, I know I have to hop off in a second, but what is there any last words you want to – last words? That sounded very gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are your last, last words? Now? Last words. <laughs> um, last, last thoughts for, for July. Hmm. Interesting. Well, based on what I'm seeing, I would say pace ourselves, stay grounded, take walks. To what we were saying before, to what you were saying, take walks in nature, stay grounded, open-minded. Remember to take, just pace yourself and just enjoy, just enjoy what's coming up. I mean, that sounded like an awesome reading to me. And I will reiterate again, you guys, change is a part of life. That's part of humaning is change. And so the fact that five came up twice, like don't be afraid of those tower moments right when they happen, they might be uncomfortable or sad, but they always like, if I look back at my life and every like tower moment I've had or every five moment I've had in the moment it was painful, but at all right now at 40, I can look back and be grateful for all those moments because it pushed me into into new into, into new and better situations that I would frankly have never gone on if it wasn't for the universe coming in and like pushing that domino over. So just Absolutely. breathe. Um, you know, exercise is a good is good for for stress. You know, just just you you got this. This is why you came to Earth. You came to Earth to human, and this is part of humaning. Yeah. And it Absolutely. sounded exciting. I, I it sounded so exciting. Um, for whoever, and I, I, I yeah. just, I can't wait, like, let us know in the comment section below if you want to, you don't mm -hmm. have to, mm -hmm. if any of this resonated with you, because I can't wait to see, um, whose story this was and to see, uh, what happened. Okay. Um, and again, if you want more clarity, if you're like, shit, and just because, and I want to clarify too, before we sign off, cause I know I, I watch a lot of like divination as well for when they do general readings, mm -hmm. if some of the stuff resonated, but some of it doesn't, that's okay. Like, I just want to make it's that supposed clear. to be, it's supposed to be because she's doing a general collective reading. So a bunch of spirit guides are coming in here, arranging these leaves. So some of the information mm -hmm. might be for someone else. 
some of it for you. So don't feel like just because everything matched up but one thing that it's not for you. No, no, no. It it, it can be. So so I want to make that very clear. Thank you for saying that. Absolutely. And so I think it's also so important to not try and force things into this is a general com comment anyway, not to try and force things into a reading, right. trying to make not something to apply to it. No, this is again to what you said, very much a general ent entertainment purposes only and take what you will, leave what you don't. It's not supposed to be accurate for everyone every single time. It won't be. It's not. Yeah, right. So yeah, if you watch this and there was nothing in there, check That's back. Okay. Check back. <laughs> you know, there are, there are 7 billion people on the planet. Like sometimes when I listen to general readings and nothing resonates, I'm like, that's okay. That's okay. My guides, uh, no news sometimes is good news. So maybe my guides are like, yeah, she's going to rest this month. So it's totally. It you don't need to hear anything right now. And sometimes yeah. that's, that's good to know. I mean, one time I did a reading for myself years ago and I was practicing and like literally nothing was in the cup. I'm like, that's okay. Obviously I'm not supposed to know anything right now and that's okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, you guys. Well, once again, I want to wish a very happy Canada day to all of our Canadian family, our Canadian brothers and sisters up there fighting the good fight. Um, and also happy 4th of July to all of the Americans. It's balls hot outside. I mean, we are sweating like whores in church down here in the <laughs> south. So make sure you make sure you it's it's that gross time of year where where your boobs start sweating and everything's just like sloppy. <laughs> so it's actually kind of cool up here. We'll send some of the cool air there. It's it's for June. It's kind of cool today. So uh, I don't mind. I enjoy it. I mean, down here in the deep south, it's gross. You step outside and you're like. Oh fuck! Like <laughs> so, you just you hear it sizzling, like you just hear the heat sizzling. Oh. Which again, not to get off topic, but that was always when I was a little kid. That was always my like weird suspicion that maybe history wasn't accurate because how the hell were those people bopping around in big hoop skirts in this fucking heat? Okay, am I right, people from the south? Like. We're, we're practically naked down here because it's too damn hot otherwise. So with that being said, make sure you're drinking enough water and cooling off. God, thank you, Lord God, for modern air, air conditioning. Um, yes. But enjoy the longer days. And, you know, a lot of people go to the lake and go to the beach for the 4th of July. Be safe and have mm. so much fun. So much enjoy. fun for our Canadians. Enjoy your tundra. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> your cold tundra. tundra. <laughs> That's when I think of Canada. That is literally what comes to my mind. <laughs> I mean, like in usually we're in Southwestern Ontario. We've had days where we're going to ninety. Oh, so I can hear you. I can hear you. That was weird. It just like cut out. Oh, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? There. Oh, that was an echo on my end. Whoa. Can you hear me? Okay. Whoever is messing with our Zoom, you got to get out. You got to be no, sure. I know I'm not consent to you. <laughs> right now, but you got to get out. So, no, I think of Canada, I just think of snow. I just think yeah. of snow and, like, down jackets. It's in the winter. Yeah, in the winter. I mean, here in southwestern Ontario, I can only speak for that because that's where I live. But it, it can be hot. I mean, summers can go up to 90, 100 Fahrenheit sometimes. It get kind of hot. I'm not comparing. And obviously, not, not, not as hot as Georgia, but listen, I don't. I, don't hot. <laughs> I, mean, I used to go snow skiing as a kid for spring break, but I didn't own a pair of gloves as an adult until last year. Yeah. So <laughs> I think I went through like five pairs of gloves this past winter alone. That is wild. Like the, no big, the big, like waterproof ones. I had to go find like I had to go through like two or three water like gloves to get the right ones. Like they're massive. They're waterproof and snowproof and windproof. Like, if I married <laughs> someone who lived up in the 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 snowy climates, I'd be fucked. <laughs> like, this winter, I'd be fucked. I would. I don't know how to shovel snow. I I don't know Definitely. anything. No, like you know, and go, go the way she's like, I don't know nothing about birth, no babies, Miss Scarlet. I don't know nothing about no snow, you guys. Like, I don't know what is what I, I was listening to a comedian once from Miami talking about moving to Colorado. He had to move, to, he's from Miami and he had to move to Colorado. And he was like, oh, the first time He walked outside, and he was like, What is this cocaine falling from the skies? <sighs> yeah, you, you wear, so, you have to wear sort of depending on where you're going, snow pants. 
What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Like, I have, I've worn skiing pants before, but like, what's a snow pant? I don't, we wear jeans in the winter. I don't know. Like, this, this huh. is cracks me up. One day, guys, we will film. I'll go visit Sarah in the winter and we'll film. The <laughs> <laughs> and I just laugh. <laughs> go and visit Southwestern Ontario. Our winters are fairly temperate, though. We don't get a lot of extremes. I mean, to get at extremes, I mean, my gosh. Sorry, there's a siren going by. Sorry about that. Free, be good. Okay. Sorry. Um, I mean, it's nothing to the East Coast. If, I mean, the East Coast just gets dumped. They get a lot of snow. On the eastern, eastern seaboard, Canada, they get a lot. Quebec, anywhere sort of east of here, they get a lot. But I mean, the prairies do. Where we are, we're sort of more temperate. We get a little, more of a like more of a milder winter, a milder summer. We have more of a milder climate anyway. But sort of once you go like north, then yeah. I mean, listen, any time, any t if you want to shut down the state of Georgia, you just say that there might be a chance of flurries, which never happens. And at that point. If there is a chance, a slight chance that the winter that the temperature might just drop enough for there to be flurries, the Piggly Wiggly sells out of bread and water and milk, and everyone's at church praying because they think the apocalypse is upon us. It is, it is, that is how Southerners react to the possibility. It's just one, okay, so one, one winter, a couple of years back, and then I got to jump off in a second, but a couple of years back. We had some, it, the weather draw, it got pretty cold. No snow, not, not cold enough to snow, but cold for us. And so businesses closed down. They just okay. decided because it was too cold. May I ask what the temperature was? Probably in the 40s, maybe Fahrenheit. So not freezing is 32 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's cool, but. Yeah, they were like, it's, it's, and so the news was like, we're just going to close down because it's too cold. No, but nobody has fucking gloves. No one's got snow pants out here. So, <laughs> but that's that's the thing. It's it's it's, it's 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 different for everyone. Up here, we'd be like, "Oh, it's just another spring day. It's fine." <laughs> like, close the city. We get that sometimes too. In the summertime, they'll close down because it's too hot. And now right. we do that when they close down because it's too hot. That's when it's freaking like, do not stand on pavement. You know, because yeah. that's when it's real bad. Because we can usually take the heat. It's just yeah. the it's just well it's the same here sometimes if it's like really hot or really cold then yes sometimes occasionally then everything will close down like you won't see anything anywhere or if it's really extreme weather like if it's a really like a blizzard or something that we had back in december 40 blizzard which was very extremely rare things were closed things are closed but the plows were out you just stay in it's fine i mean listen I'm, that would be hysterical i'm gonna come up there in the winter in the dead of winter I'm gonna visit you guys. And Someone does it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to show no driveway. I don't know oh, how to be fine. I don't know it's how okay. To shit off the windshield. Like I would be squeaky. Oh, would, that's fun. Like if I were <laughs> to be married to somebody up in the the winter, the winter states, the winter, winter, winter world. My southern ass would be like, "What is this cocaine falling from the sky?" <laughs> Well, if if your if your vehicle's iced over with snow, you first you go out, you turn the car on, make sure you keep, you know, don't lock the car. You get your you snow, you get your brush out, then you brush all the snow off, and then you go and you take the ice off the windshield. You don't go down on it because then you can crack. You don't go down on the paint because you don't want the paint to go sideways. It's fine, and then you throw the defrost on, and in a few minutes. It's <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. I we I have not been out to the eastern coast of Canada, and we should go there in like December. <laughs> It'd be fantastic. I'm gonna be like again. Why, why is there cocaine all over the ground? <laughs> like yeah, yeah it's real awesome. fun, you guys. It's real fun. Oh, the fun times, the lives that we lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. I mean, if you guys have any funny stories, I always love funny stories. I love the sense of humor. So tell me your funny stories. Do we have any Southerners out there that got married to some Northerner or ended up being placed in the North for their job? Let me hear your stories because I lived in London, England for a while. But the thing about London is that when it snows because it's such a big city, it hits the pavement and melts. 
So it was perfect for me. Yeah. So, I was like, yeah. this is great. I just it's like normal, <laughs> but a little colder and that's it. You know, um, of course I lived in LA for forever and LA is like, the same all the time so um in la they don't know how to drive in the rain though they, they don't get a lot of rain oh that, really they don't know how to drive in the rain they don't know how really? to drive in the rain. yeah so interesting so that's that's very different but let, let us know your funny stories guys and also for those two ladies who won make sure you come yes. to Sarah. congratulations and, yeah i cannot wait and i just can't wait to see how that goes uh -huh. through, so and yeah make sure this you get exciting subscribe you guys and we'll oh, thank you. Real soon all right everybody uh, we love you, love you guys. <laughs> bye everybody bye